okay welcome to the fourth lecture of development of lateral surfaces okay in last lecture we have seen the one problem of dls of a cylinder which will get cut by the auxiliary inclined plane now in second like in this lecture we are going to see the cylinder which will get cut by the aip with a different dimension now for that let's see the statement now in statement let's see a cylinder of diameter 40 mm height 75 mm is cut by a plane perpendicular to the vp and inclined at 55 degree to the hp meeting the axis at top face draw the lateral development of solid now before going to start this problem we know that we have to draw the dls of a cylinder so what we are doing we are doing just the dls of a normal cylinder now here we are drawing the top view and here we are drawing the front view now top view of a cylinder is a circle now here i have drawn the circle of a diameter 40 mm because the diameter is 40 mm is given and height is 75 mm is given so the front of the top view is a circle of a diameter 40 mm so this distance is 4 cm so radius is 2 cm now here i take the projection of a cylinder circle up to the reference line x x dash now here i am extending this line now for i have to draw the front view now for drawing the front view i am extending this line now for front view i have to take the dimensions of this is the diameter of circle and the water with the height is given so height is 75 mm is given and this length that is the diameter so this distance is same so diameter by given height is the dimension for rectangle why we are drawing the rectangle because in last lecture we also uh, we seen that the front view of a cylinder and front view of a prism is always a rectangle so the dimension of rectangle is diameter and the given height so the diameter is 40 mm and height is 75 so here i am drawing the line of a distance 75 mm from the reference line so here i am measuring the 7.5 now extending this line 75 mm now again okay. 75 mm now Okay, now it is four centimeter. So do this one. Okay. Now, this is the top view, and this one is the front view. Now here I have to draw the development. Now for development, what I am doing, I am just projecting this line. now from this vertical line i am taking some marginal distance now the dls of cylinder is a simple rectangle that we had seen in the last lecture now here i have to draw the rectangle of a dimensions the length is pi d and height is the height of a cylinder now here is the height okay it's 7.5 mm now length is let's see the diameter is 40 mm that that is the same in a last problem so the pi d distance is 125.6 mm so measure the 125.6 mm here 12.56 it's 12.56 from this point join this one okay so this is the dls of a normal cylinder now keep in remember that there is no need to divide the circle if you are not cutting this cylinder by the auxiliary inclined plane so if it is cut by the auxiliary inclined plane in that case you have to divide this circle okay there is no need to divide the circle when it is not cut by the auxiliary inclined plane but now in this statement 
it is get cut by the plane so it means i have to divide this circle into 12 number of equal parts so here i am dividing this circle into 12 number of equal parts and also dividing this rectangle into 12 number of equal parts okay so divide this circle into 12 number of equal parts okay so here i divide the circle into 12 number of equal parts now i have to divide this rectangle into 12 number of equal parts but let's see this distance is 125.6 mm it's 12.56 mm so it is not exactly divisible by using the scale so for that what i am doing i uh, here i had drawn the another line of a 12 centimeter so that 12 centimeter line can be equally divided into 12 number of equal parts so each part of this 12 centimeter line is of 1 centimeter so this line i am dividing into 12 number of equal parts by taking each part into 1 centimeter so for that what i am doing let's see here i had drawn the 12 centimeter line at any angle you may take any angle now join the end point of this rectangle and end point of the line here okay now divide this line into 12 number of equal parts but let's see what i am doing here here is some shortcut so for that shortcut what i am doing i am dividing this line into only three to four parts now what we have to do for this three to four parts so divide this line into only four number of equal parts one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter now already we had joined these two end points now what i am doing i am drawing the parallel line to this line through this point I'm drawing the parallel line to this line through this point so how to draw this let's see this is the set square so we have to use that set square so match this set square over here okay then take the another set square now keep this over here and just move this set square along these points so you will get the exactly parallel lines now next take a compass measure the distance in a compass of each one part now tally the distances okay, same now it is again same so similarly divide this line into 12 number of equal parts okay so we have make here the 12 number of equal parts of the circle and 12 number of the parts of this rectangle so here i have given the notation from left side in anti clockwise direction so 1 2 3 up to 12 now here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 12 and last one is the one number is again repeated over here let's see here this is the one now let's see we have to draw the section plane which will cut this cylinder now for that i am extending this center or axis line of the cylinder now let's see the statement for the auxiliary inclined plane now it is cut by a plane perpendicular to the vp so forget this one and incline at 55 degree to the hp so the whatever we are <coughs> line drawing that line is inclined at 55 degree to the reference line and what is the position of that one for that we have to read the next statement okay to hp next meeting the axis at a top face now let's see this one is the bottom face this line is the bottom face these are the longer edges and this is the top face so what they are saying that the line it is inclined in such a way that that line is get inclined to the hp at an angle 55 degree and will meet to the axis at top face so this is the axis and this is the top face so that line get incline or get coincide with this intersection point okay this is the axis and this is the top face so we have to draw the line at an angle 55 degree now how to draw that line now let's see what i am doing here i am keeping this protractor at an angle 55 degree point will get meet over here now align it now mark the one point over here okay and another point just keep in your mind and just 
left out this protractor more than other point now again measure okay let's see this is the 55 degree point which is getting um, coincide with the this intersection point so just join this one okay so this is the auxiliary inclined plane it is auxiliary inclined plane which is make an angle 55 degree to the hp and will cut the axis at the top face <laughs> now project these points up to this aip project all these points Two twelve to AIP, then three eleven up to AIP, and this is four and ten. Now mark this point. This is the one dash. Now this is two dash, twelve dash. This one is three dash, eleven dash. Now project these points. We have to project this point. This one, this one is the four dash and ten dash. So four dash and ten dash. So this is four dash. This is the line of this is the line of marking four, and this is the line of marking of ten. So here you will get what P four dash. Okay, here here I got P ten dash. Now project these points. This one three dash eleven dash. To the line, vertical line of three and eleven. To the eleven, and then two and twelve, and then. One and one. Now let's see. This is P one dash. This is P two dash. This one is P three dash. P four dash. <coughs> P five dash. P six dash. P seven dash. So there is no intersection of this point. We didn't get the any point. P dash six dash seven dash on this AIP. So we are leaving this portion of P ten dash. Then it is P eleven dash. P twelve dash. Again it is P one dash. Now join these first points P one dash up to the baseline. Now P one, P two, P four by the curve. Then make it join this P four dash and P ten dash. Then join this P ten dash to again P one dash by using the freehand sketch sketch smooth curve. Make it dark. Now again make this portion dark. Then make it dark. Okay, now make this portion dark. This one, the dark portion is nothing but the portion which is remaining after the cutting. So this much portion is get remaining when you cut this cylinder by a auxiliary inclined plane. Okay, so this is the solution for the given problem. Now how to obtain the full marks? Firstly, you have to give the dimensions five forty. Then you have to mention the given height. This height is seventy-five. Then mention this angle. Now give these notations. Now here you have to mention the distance pi d. This one. Mention this distance 
फाइव डी इज़ इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू वन टू फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स ओके सो वेन यू ड्रॉ दिस वन सो विल गेट द फुल मार्क्स सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ गिवन प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो